Good morning, everyone. This is David Lundgren at the Digital Design Center. Hey, I wanted to show brand new team members how simple it is to stage videos. So this is what this short training is going to be about. We're at YouTube right now, and I've selected some videos. It could be any videos. You could type up here, viral videos, you know, find what you want. But I've got, I like uh, putting in uh, some recipes. The one thing that I've noticed that if you want a lot of people being attracted back to your stage pages, it has to have or always start looking for a great thumbnail. And what I mean by that is this picture. Now the wording, you know, that'll get them too. But you got to remember, people are visual. They're looking for something that's colorful, that catches their eye, like right down here, homemade eclairs. Uh, but what I found is recipes with their colorful food selections work really good. So I've selected a guacamole recipe and I'm going to show you how quick and easy with the stage it button it is to you know to set up the stage. So I'm going to go through the whole process and it's only going to take me a minute or so. So right at the top here I'm going to click I'm going to start the video right there and then I'm going to click on stage it I'm trying to do this slow and then the green button comes up and all we're going to do is hit stage it click it it pulls up the editor so let me go back here just to shut the video down and we're going to go back to this editor now it says select campaign so you can see I've got all my campaigns in there so I'm going to choose one of them and you can see it pulled in all the default keywords that I have set for that campaign. You'll notice it also pulled in the video URL from YouTube. So I don't have to do that. It pulled in the title and the description. Now there's just a couple things that we need to do to what I call fine tune it. So on the stage, I really don't need this part right here. So we're going to teach you how to do hashtags. And a hashtag is just a pound sign in front of a keyword, like homemade, guacamole, recipe. <clears throat> and I'm going to do this. Now, this is the little learning lesson. A hashtag cannot have a space. So all I do is I can get rid of the space or I can do a double hashtag and just separate it by a space. Now the trick is if you have uh, like let's just say this little hyphen and I don't have a space the hashtag will not look at the hyphen because that's a special character. It's only going to look at recipe but I like to be safe and just put a, sta a space there. Now why do I put hashtags up here and then we got hashtags down there? It's because Twitter only looks at the hashtags that are in the title. So now I'm going to go down to keywords. So basically the same thing. What a keyword is you're trying to predict what people are going to search on. So I would say recipe. That would be a good one. And maybe homemade. And maybe guacamole. So that's what people are searching. That's the keywords. Now we're going to go down here, auto post to social. Uh, I can click that and it will automatically go out even though I'm going to do it manually for you. Now edit hashtags. This is going to go ahead and I'm just basically copying the same hashtags. I hit enter uh, as in the title and then guacamole, enter. And then recipe, enter. Now here's what I do. You can put a, a hashtag just means it's going to put another copy in the area of recipe, guacamole, homemade. So right now we've got th uh, three copies of our stage going into three different areas. But here's what I do. I even go further than that. I'm going to put in HBN, my business name. I'm going to put in David. So a copy goes into the folder called David. 
a Lundgren. So another copy goes there. I'm going to make another one called Stage. I'm going to make another one called Social Media. And really what I'm doing is just spreading out this message. And then I'm going to put in, because these are very hot uh, search terms, marketing. And then I always ended up by viral videos. Okay, well, we're done right there. So you can see if I'm doing this on my own, I can do it in less than 30 seconds. Okay, then right here, select stage group. Now I've got a lot of different groups, but one of them is called recipes. So I can organize and group them. And then all I do down here is create stage. Very simple to do. Now, that would be it, except I'm going to show you how to manually push the stages out. Let me pull this over so you can see it in the recording window. And I'm going to click on open my new stage. So here comes the stage. It wrapped this video, the homemade guacamole recipe, around my campaign with all my stuff around it. And all I'm going to do is click on Twitter. It's going to come up here. Now here's my trick. I'm going to go ahead and select everything and I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and hit tweet. Now that just sent it out to all of Twitter. I'm going to come down here to LinkedIn. Now it's a little off the recording window but it shows, does show a picture of the guacamole and it says share. So I'm just going to do that. Trust me on that. It does do that. Okay, now we're going to come back here and click on Google Plus and it pulls up a picture of the uh, thumbnail, picture of the video and you can see right down here I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste which uh, the, the title I had in the Twitter because Google only recognizes the hashtags up here not here. So what I'm going to do is just scroll down. Here's all my uh, groups and I'm going to hit share which is at the bottom left of the window. So that's going to close here automatically and we're done. So let's go back and see what the results that we've gotten so far. I'm going to switch back to members areas. So here's the editor. I'm just going to hit update stage and close window. Now I'm going to go over here to hit stages. These are the stages that are being uh, produced right here. And then we're going to scroll down and uh, my fault because it's a little off the window and we can see uh, right here baby horse, uh, avocado. So you can't see the numbers there but we've already got uh, 60 uh, views just within a minute or two. So I've got one here with seared salmon. Uh, I was kind of surprised. This one right here, I didn't think would do anything. Interview with Brian Solis at the Marketing Sherpa Email Summit. And uh, that within 20 minutes had 322 uh, visitors to that stage. Now, you got to remember that when they come back here, I'm going to stop the video. Right there. Now when they come back here, just pretend you had 100 or 300 or something like that, they're going down and remember I told you I don't trust people to do what they're supposed to, but they do snoop. So on the right hand side you're going to see I get a lot of clicks on this free video. And you got to remember banners should be colorful, should be stand out, you know, eye attracting. Uh, get your gold savings account free. You know, use the word free. Put some action words in there, like right here. Click here. Click here. You can see right here. Uh, this is just for, you know, a color banner type of deal. Hey, David, your LinkedIn profile scored 97%. Great job. The LinkedIn uh, software that I use to increase my profiles. Notice it's got an action word. Click here for free trial. And then as we scroll down, we've got Talk Fusion. Click here, learn more. You got to learn to put these action words in your banners. Right here, TaxBot. Increase your profits by a thousand in two minutes a day. Learn how. And as you scroll down, 
you're going to see that we have other banners but they all have the action words click here and then we have the videos now a lot of people say well how do you get all these videos on the right side left side those are groups within stages but that's a different training for a different day and as you scroll down we have tack take action join for free now that's an, another action so that's how simple it is uh, you know the initial setting up of the going uh, of the stage you know going to recap we went to YouTube and then let me pull up another one here real quick as we end this I'm just gonna go to post video uh, dot biz if you want to write that down it's P is in Paul O S T video dot biz and uh, B I Z and what that's going to do let me get it right up here just a little slow because we're recording and you can see this is one of my top most uh, visited videos and we're just waiting it for it to come up here and it's the video called how the sun sees you now remember people are visual so what I want you to do as we end this little segment is I'm gonna let this play it's only a couple minutes and I want you to watch how visual this is this is how the Sun sees your skin in ultraviolet and how your skin ages so how many people can apply uh, I, how many people can relate to this how many people have skin seven billion people so this is one of my most retweeted videos and you can see people send it out it's not the size of your list when you've got a good video and it's being retweeted I have one guy here he retweeted this out he was so impressed he sent it out to his list of 1.8 million people so all those links going out to over a million people they all come back here and remember people do snoop they get to see what's on that on the right side so think of stage as like a newspaper a newspaper has two things one is content and surrounding the content is the banner ads stage is simply the video is the content that's the funny interesting educational video that's pulling or attracting these people back here so you can see right here look at glasses they block UV and as you look back as this video continues you may you probably don't even know this that sunscreen actually blocks UV but what does it do to your skin under ultraviolet see how it's white but look at under ultraviolet your skin turns black and that's what's blocking that so this type of very visual video attracts a lot of people back to our stage so let me end up by showing you my graph or my chart and just read it to you because I know it might be small in the recording this website has had 57,998 visitors in the last 30 days in fact a record 183,982 people have stopped by this year so far that's an average of 2,045 per day on total autopilot the ability to generate on-demand traffic costs me about three dollars a day what do you pay for real human traffic to your website do you get any track traffic at all so you got a member a hundred and fifty thousand people are coming in here they're looking around they're watching these videos and I've got a lot of other videos on there so hopefully this has uh, helped you out be a little bit more dangerous this has been David Lundgren at the Digital Design Center hope you have a great day